In this video, I'm going to go through the creation of a public key and a private key to be used with the Motorola MX XML provisioning. Uh, if you go ahead and open up the mobility extension document and go to page 49, uh, we're going to be covering chapter 4, the MDM XML security. Uh, there's a couple sections in this. There's the first, the Linux box. Um, I actually have a Windows 7 box, so I'm going to go to uh, this link here. Uh, which will take you to an open SSL site uh, that gives you several selections. Um, I'm actually running a Win 64-bit uh, Windows 7 box and then just grab the light version. Once you download that and you go through the installation of it, You're going to end up getting this message that's going to pop up that's going to be, say it's looking for Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 registered visuals. Just click OK and go past that. Um, I usually install everything in the default directories. And then once that's completed, if you open up a command prompt, uh, you then should have your open SSL directory. Mine is, happens to be 64. Go to that, then also go into the bin directory. Uh, and this is going to be the location where we're going to create our certificates. Then go back to your mobility extension document. If you scroll down a little bit, uh, what you're going to want to do is uh, use the set command. Uh, depending on if you're a Windows 32-bit or 64-bit, you're probably going to have to change this. So like in my case, I'm a 64-bit, so I'm going to want to go back and change this to Win64 and run it. And after that, we're going to go and create actually create the certificates. Uh, what I actually do is just cut and paste this line up to the key out because <coughs> the other rest of it I'm going to have to type in because um, it's going to be specific to me. And then I'm going to go back and change the number of days uh, to 91.25, which is going to make the certificate good for 25 years. Um, then what I'm going to do is give my private key a name. So this is my private.pem. Then out. And then I'm going to have a public.pem. So once you go ahead and hit enter on this, you're actually in the process of generating your certificate. It's going to ask you for some questions. Uh, just go ahead and answer them. I'm just going to put some information in here. It doesn't really matter. So once we're done with that command, if we go and look, um, what we have now done is generated uh, two files, a private PEM, which is our private certificate, and then a public PEM, which is our public certificate. Uh, the public PEM is actually going to be the one we actually install on the device and use. The private PEM is going to be the one we use to sign everything going forward. Uh, and that's uh, creating an open SSL certificates.